Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Monday, the 5th of September. With Robert Murray McShane, one of the sections we read today is Psalms 46 and 47. Psalm 46, quite well known, begins, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the seas, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. And as I read that, I thought, it, it sounds a bit like a description of an earthquake. And how did you describe an earthquake in the ancient world? And there were lots of stories about gods fighting or gods under the earth or massive godlike snakes crawling along. But where you have a theology of a god in heaven and you're on earth, what do you make of an earthquake? <laughs> and I've no idea. We'd have to, I'd have to go and read up what the ancient Israelites thought of earthquakes, if we have a record anywhere at all. But the thing that struck me as I read this was the psalmist says, God is our refuge, God is our help, God is our strength in trouble. And we won't fear, even though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. He doesn't say that that won't happen. He says, even when it happens, we're still trusting in God. And there's a, a strand of theology today which suggests that if you're a good Christian and you have enough faith, and so if, if it doesn't happen, it's always your fault because it, there's something wrong with your faith. It's not the teacher or the other person's fault. It's your fault. Um, and usually if you give sufficient seed money or donations or whatever to their ministry or their church, then God will do exactly what you want. And then you won't get sick. There won't be earthquakes. There won't be, the mountains won't fall. The waters won't roar. The, there's not going to be any quaking or surging because God will protect you. But that's not what Scripture says. Scripture says that when that kind of stuff happens, God is our refuge and strength and our help. It's not that he stops it from happening. He can stop it. Sometimes he might do, but so often he doesn't. And for us to then think, oh, because my, my life is in this massively problematic space, I've lost faith or lack faith or it's my problem. No, no, that's, that's how life goes. And God doesn't say, I'm going to take you out of life. Not until he does and takes you into glory at the end of your life. But until then, we live in this world with all its problems. And that's part of how we live. And we say, when things go bad, God is with us. That is our faith. That is our hope. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. So whatever trouble you're facing, know that God is there with you in that trouble. And if you're not facing trouble yourself, then encourage other people who might be, because there's so many people that are facing trouble, and encourage them, the trouble's not their fault. It's the way the world goes, but God is still with you in the midst of it. That's our hope and our strength. Be blessed.